and welcome to another battle report. This is 2000 points, Boys of Chaos versus Lizardman. Uh, so for his army, he have five Chaos Knight. They are some uh, Archaeon Special Knights, so they got Hatred and full command with the end scroll weapons. Then he have a big unit of Chaos Warriors uh, with full command. In that unit, he have a Chaos Hero with the Great Weapon and some Potion that make you roll on the table uh, sometime and it give you some benefit. I don't know the name of it. Then you have the special character Archaeon and uh, 10 Marauders, uh, no equipment then, and a level 2 in that unit uh, with the Lord of Death and a Dispel Scroll. And that's 2000 points in Warriors of Chaos. And for my own army, from the left to right, I have a unit of two Jungle Swarms, a Razor Dome. In that building, I have the block of Saurus Warriors with spears. Uh, it is 32 of them. Uh, and I have my Battle Standard Beer. Uh, he has the Racers in it, which I will forget during the game. And I will not use it. And I have my Old Block with the Helm of Itza and Sword of Antiheroes. Then I have the Troglodon with the Channel Benefit, a unit of 10 skinks with a Musician. And in that I have my Slant. We have the Channel Build uh, and the Channel Self. And they also have all the signature spells from all of the eight lores in the Warhammer rulebook. And I have a unit of uh, 10 skin scouts in that unit. I have a skin chief. He have the clock of feather so he had magic rest one and uh, he flies. And finally I have a Bastelo down with the laser cannon. And I also have two scouted five man units uh, of Camelon skinks. Both of them have champion in them. And for his spell he have the Buna and the caresses. For his lore of death, Archaeon have the lore of uh, Sinch, so we have the Treason and the Bolt. And as I mentioned earlier, I have all of the eight signature spell from the eight lores in the Warhammer rulebook. So even though we have uh, less drops than me, I managed to sneak the first time in. So what I first do is my Camilla Skinks. One was around the building to shoot at his marauder. The other one couldn't move around because they could only move in and then he would have seen me. So they just standing behind that building. Well, uh, in my movement phase, I didn't do much with my main line. Uh, I take the Zorth Warrior out of the building and push them forward. Um, I take my slum and skin unit and closer to him. My goal is next turn throw a Searing Doom at his Chaos Knights and uh, move up my Castillo down to choose the laser cannon at his Marauders. But uh, well, uh, not much more. Um, my plan for this game is basically trying to outflank him with the Young Swarm and the Troglodon and use my Saurus block as an anvil for the Chaos Warrior, if I can. Well, the magic phase didn't do so much. I managed to get off the laser cannon on the Marauders, but I only roll a 3, so it's only a d6 train 4 hit. Um, he dispelled the Miasma uh, movement penalties on his uh, Archaeon unit, and he uses his Dispel Scroll to stop the level 2 fireball on his marauders. The chameleon skinks go apeshit on his <laughs> marauder unit and actually managed to kill six of them. Uh, but uh, since they were in 12 inch of Archaeon they can use his leadership uh, but they roll a 11 <laughs> so they failed that but unfortunately unfor for him he have uh, the special rule for Archeon is that you can reroll any failed leadership test if you are in 12 inches of him. And they were. So they passed the leadership the second time. 
Well, for his turn, there is not much to do. He pushes up his Chaos Warrior as far as possible. And his Chaos Knight uh, go around that effigy of Gork. And uh, well, that's it for this flank. On the other flank, uh, the Marauder couldn't get into the house. Uh, so the Wizard leave the unit and watch, walks into the house to get some cover. And the Marauder just turn around. So, over to the second turn. So, for my movement in the second turn, I start by moving the Jungle Swarm closer to his Chaos Knight. Hopefully, shove him up next turn. I take some cover behind that uh, Mystical Forest. I move my Residon within 18 inches of his Chaos Warrior and his Chaos Knight to probably shoot next turn. The Troglodon is also within 18 inch of his case warrior to probably shoot something. And the Skinx moves up, to, so they are within 12 inch to shoot at his case warrior. But the Basildon pivot to shoot at his case warrior. And finally my Skink unit in the, with this land make a swifter form and are able to move into that house. Uh, one of my Camellia Skinks will move around to shoot at his... Uh, Wizard and get out of sight of his uh, marauders. Uh, all will show total of 20 shot on his wizard, making him take four armor shape. And he passed all four of them, so he didn't suffer any wounds. Well, in the magic phase, I have a very good magic phase. Um, I first get off the big Mayas, uh, no, not Mayasma, Searing Doom version on his Chaos Knights. And as you can see, they are no longer on the table. Uh, well, this is probably one of those spells. Uh, he should have saved up his uh, dispel scroll uh, to stop. With some of the remaining dice, I get off the Miasma to reduce his Chaos Warrior's movement by one. So, for his turn. He moves his Chaos Warrior uh, 6 inches up, uh, not afraid of getting charged at all. Um, so, and his Marauder also moves into the building to give his wizard some kind of protection. Uh, in the magic phase, he starts by getting off the Bolt of uh, Cinch on my Source Warrior. I let that go because I'm more afraid of treason. Uh, so we get it in, kill three Saurus, um, and then you roll for treason, roll in miscast, so it's in, and uh, he roll a six on the miscast table. He blow up three Chaos Warrior, but Archaean doesn't suffer any wounds at all. And on the Flamer of Singe, or whatever the special rule is called, uh, I actually lose another Saurus because I failed my toughness test. So over to the third turn. So because I have treason on my Saurus Warrior, uh, I'm not very keen on going into the combat with the Chaos Warrior because um, I cannot use the standard bearer and it's kind of risky. So why take that chance when instead I can just fly my Skink Sheaf in front of him? and um, try to shoot him down some more with some uh, magic well that plan didn't work because i start by throwing off a searing doom and i lost concentration with my slam i throw my remaining die on the glacier cannon and he dispelled that um, so uh, well and shooting face uh, my chameleon skin might kill one of the marauder but he passes his panic test in the building and Troglodon kill one of the Chaos Warrior and the Salamander roll no, the Racerdon actually rolled a, another 10 on the Chaos Warrior killing another 2 and the Skinks, uh, they miss with all their shots so, for his turn, he just swifts the form into a frontage of uh, 5 models and he moves around uh, my uh, skink, sheaf. Um, I 
think you actually cannot do that. I think you have to go uh, even uh, less wide, like four or even three wide, to actually make it uh, around my skink uh, sheave. But uh, well, I didn't want to be that guy in a friendly game, so I let him do that and just pass through. And he also uh, makes me divide my chameleon wing shot by moving out the marauder um, out of the building and have the wizard in it. And uh, well, his magic, um, I think he got up treason again with his archaeon on my um, Saurus warrior, but uh, that's it. And now for the turn 4. Well, um, for my turn 4, I first move up my skin sheep to once again stop his Chaos Warrior unit from charging. I move my Jungle Swarm and Troglodon and Saurus Warrior to get into the flank of his Chaos Warrior if he choose to charge my skin sheep next turn. If he just stand there doing nothing, I will just stand there and uh, throw in uh, spells at him. Well, uh, I also move my chameleon skinks out of sight of his marauder and I will shoot him down in the shooting phase. I will not kill his wizard, but his wizard will pass his panic test from the marauder dying within 6 inch from him. Well, in the magic phase, I roll up some dice. I took a 3 or 2 to throw out the medium fireball at his chaos warrior. I roll a double 6, I kill 2 of him. I roll a 6 on the miscast the table, uh, taking a wound and killing 3 of my skinks. And uh, lose a lot of dice and have some left. I tried a certain doom, but he dispelled that. Well, in my shooting phase, my Resident roll a 10 once again. Uh, this is the third time in a row. Uh, and he killed like two Chaos Warrior. The Troglodon also managed to kill one of the Chaos Warrior. The Skinks once again failed to do any damage. And uh, the Chameleon Skink didn't do anything to his wizard in the house. So for his turn, his Chaos Warrior finally decided to charge my skin Sheaf and I decided to stick around and take that charge. Well, in the magic phase, he gets really pissed off at my Chameleon Skin, so his uh, Wizard throw out a first the caresses on my Chameleon Skinks, didn't manage to kill it, then throw out the Bunin and uh, roll a miscast. He actually managed to kill this Chameleon Skin champion. Um, but on the Miska table, he rolled a 4 and he gets sucked into the warp. Well, just to throw more shit on the shit cake, that is his luck. Um, his challenge, he had to challenge because it's chaos with his chaos hero, thinking that he will get some easy Eye of the God points. Uh, but he didn't even manage to kill the skin chief, so the skin chief survived, and uh, well, the skin chief ran away, and his chaos warrior reformed to face off my Saurus warrior. So over to the fifth turn. So finally, I do the charging. I send in the Saurus. Uh, and the Yellow Swarm to get all of them poison. Send in the Troglodon so we can do the screaming so I get uh, the Predatory Fighter on a 5 up instead of just a 6 up. And I send in the Salamander just because why not just send in everything we fucking got on him. This picture is showing that the Basilodon failed a very long charge. My skin chief um, bravely or unbravely decided that uh, you cannot have this much luck and other time, so he will keep on running towards the table edge. 
in the magic phase I get off 12 dice and he got 6 so I started off by 6 dice in Wisdom's Wild form on my Saurus Warrior he used all of his dice and actually managed to dispel that I then got off uh, the Miasma on his Chaos Warrior reducing the weapon skill by 2 and then I got off uh, the Harmonic spell from Lord of Heaven so it's 1 minus to hit which is a very good combo to just use them both because he will be hitting on uh, a 5 up instead of the ordinary 3 up he would in the normal cases well in the combat he have to challenge once again he is a chaos hero decided that he needed revenge for the failure of the skin sheep so he says challenge and I take it with my own blood and now he uses the potion and he's get the killing blow so this challenge can potentially be very scary for me not well since he have great weapon I go first and the buff I get from the youngest one which I get me poison the troller again give me 5 up predatory fighter and he got his weapon skill reduced by 2 so he's only weapon skill 5 which means I hit on uh, a tree up I managed to kill him so well in the combat basically his whole unit fluff the hitting of fives and most of it except for the younger swarm which hit on four up he only managed to do a wound on the younger swarm Archaean takes his demonic sword stuff and do kill three towers and do a wound on the cell my little standard beer punch him in the face and take another wound on Archaean and well I kill off a almost one and a half rank of his chaos warrior he need to stick on a snake eyes but he failed you reroll it and he fails again and that's the game folks well on my final thought on this game uh, I think uh, the problem is for the chaos player is that he have so few ways of dealing with chat so and he have a big death star I think uh, okay on cost a lot of points so he yeah, basically the most part of his army locked up in a infantry unit that I can just as you saw effectively stop from getting into combat IT until I actually want to uh, I could have easily just uh, make his unit uh, stay out of combat for the rest of the game but uh, well that's no fun just go and uh, beat each other to death instead that's more sensible thing to do um, and I think you have to keep his scroll a bit longer for either the Searing Doom or maybe the harmonic spell on his Chaos Warrior in the combat and not throw it away on a fireball on, on some marauder there it's like I think a 60 point unit or something like that um, and well for myself I really like the Troglodon it, uh, it's probably the coolest listener model in the Games Workshop collection uh, and I really like having all of the signature spells I don't have the big bomb spell but you have a lot of tools you have the missiles with fireball burning gaze you have a way of dealing with high armor stuff with the searing doom you have a lot of combat buffs to throw uh, or debuff on your opponent if you want to win a special combat so I think I'm gonna try that some more and uh, well that's it for this game thank you so much for watching bye bye